Nearly 100 people were evacuated from the area of a fire near Firebird Raceway on Highway 16. In the emergency, they were just minutes to gather their most precious belongings and get away. One day later, Mike Sharp speaks with some of them. Michelle, what would you take if a fire was putting your life and property in danger and you only had minutes to get away? That's a decision that dozens of people had to make yesterday, so I got answers from them. We were scared. We started grabbing pictures off the wall. My wife and I kind of have this, this idea, get the pictures off the wall, get the strong box and the animals if we can and take off. These two bags of pictures and important documents are all that Phil Atkinson and his wife Kelsey were able to grab in the five minutes it took them to gather their pets and load up their truck and get safely away from a fire on Tuesday. He says the decision of what to take with him was not difficult. In life you just have a lot of commodities and about the only thing that means anything to you is your family, those, those memories and the love there. And that's uh, what's most important to us. Atkinson wasn't alone. My brother grabbed his computer, like my other brother grabbed his guitars and his amps, and I grabbed my dog. <laughs> That's all Tanner Brundy had time to round up. He says he and his brothers had been watching the fire grow in the distance before realizing how close it had gotten, so close that his property is now covered in red flame retardant from firefighting efforts. And there is fire about 50 to 75 feet away from us. Just like, oh crap, let's get going. So how close exactly did the fire end up getting to his home? Well, you can see how close I'm standing and where I'm standing is all black char like this. Now, one day later, the two men have had a chance to think about what they took in that moment of panic and reaction. And both of them say they stand by their choices, that no matter how valuable, property can be replaced. You can't replace a human life, and I think that's the most important thing. Your kids, your family, your wife. The fire burned an estimated 1,000 acres throughout the night, and both men say they feel better prepared for the future if future fires might force them into fleeing again. Live in studio, I'm Mike Sharp. Today, 6 on your side.